Music. The very word evokes a world of feelings and sensations in each of us. And jazz, that uniquely American music style, reverberates through the halls of these Seattle schools. The district has fostered many forms of musical expression, from elementary programs with recorders to symphony orchestras and jazz bands. Music matters in Seattle. I feel that music education is extremely important. Seattle has many nationally renowned jazz bands. Ensembles from Ballard, Garfield, and Roosevelt High Schools have performed and triumphed in such prestigious contests as New York's essentially Ellington High School Band Competition, the Earshot Jazz Festival, and the Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival. These band's members did not come from out of the blue. The young musicians are part of a feeder pattern running throughout Seattle Public Schools, with students from different elementary and middle schools progressing into the high school bands. So we have, uh, basically we have regions within the district, multiple regions within the district, and the feeder pattern uh, implies that you have an elementary school or a K-8 school that will feed into a middle school or K-8 school and then into a high school. Um, and they're all within the nine various regions of the district. And so that's very important because within these feeder patterns, the music teachers, all the arts teachers, communicate across the K-12 through spectrum. The students are carefully nurtured from a young age. At Salmon Bay K-8, Mark Esterly has been working with the young musicians for many years. I was a musician and uh, I decided I didn't want to share my love of music with the kids. Mark holds an afternoon jazz club for kids who want to learn how to play the music. I kind of like uh, hearing it and playing the notes uh, to make it sound right. I think it's fun to do like your own solos and learn songs. Music is a type of art and it may be hard at, at first, but it's actually pretty easy once you get used to it. I try to make it fun for the kids as, as much as I can uh, and, and still give them some means to grow. I want them to enjoy themselves when they're playing music, so hopefully they continue to play music for the rest of their lives would be nice, yeah. I like the challenge of it. Well, learning new notes, you have to play really high and really low. And some notes I've just never heard of. And that, it, they're just really fun for me to learn. I like doing like high notes and low notes, but some of them are pretty hard. How do I handle the young musicians? I, I try to handle them gently enough that they, that they respond to me but still enjoy what they're doing. He's really awesome. He teaches us so much. There's different skills that I never would have had, like jazz music. I probably wouldn't have had an interest in it. Uh, he's really nice and he helps me a lot because he kind of, um, like helps us step by step uh, to finish the song. He's great. He's probably the best one I've ever had because I've only had one. But students are learning more than just how to play an instrument. I think jazz in particular is, is a very creative type of music. I mean, there's a lot of personal expression that goes into it that you don't find in other kinds of music. That you get to do your own solos and like play along with the other kids. Well, we get to be seen, obviously. And um, we could show pe other people our talent. And um, they can tell us if our talent is good or not. Well, with these elementary kids, I'm just getting them exposed to the music. A, a lot of the kids are just playing, picked up their instruments in September of this year. In October, we started playing jazz with them. And if, just with one, one or two notes to experiment with the instrument, make up their own rhythms, get out of the book, and, uh, and just starting, starting to put their own personality into their music right from the very beginning. I think that's gonna help them into middle school and into high school. I wanna be 
in a jazz band when I grow up. The real work begins in middle school. It is here that students specialize in their musical craft. But most of them have done something. Um, so really it starts here, everything starts here. Uh, so my philosophy on teaching music is that everyone has access and everyone has the ability to be musical. And I feel that it's my job to, as a music teacher to unlock that ability or find that, that path for a student to become musical. Music is a communicative art and like a language, um, it's learned through assimilation and so when I'm teaching I'm oftentimes demonstrating things, playing recordings for students. My philosophy is that everyone can do it and that if you hold high expectations that they will eventually um, reach the expectations you set. The best part of working with Mr. Sessing is that he won't sugarcoat things. He will tell you if you're messing up or if you played a note wrong or if you have to play thinner or thicker or whatever. And he's just like, no, that was wrong. And so I, I like how he does that because it gives us a way to improve. Practices become more important as students learn what it is to be part of an ensemble. It's not as easy as it sounds. The most challenging part is um, figuring out how to stay in tune with everybody and um, play the music how it's supposed to be played. Solos? because I'm not much of an improviser, so it's really hard to have to stand up in front of everyone and just play, like not have anything written down. And yeah, it's nerve wracking. Unlike math class where you could be doing poor in your math class or uh, in English class or whatever it is, and the students around you are not affected whatsoever on your performance, but in music, you know, reminding them, it's like your performance affects the others in the class. And with jazz especially, um, improvising is mostly getting over that fear of being embarrassed or feeling like somebody's going to make fun of you for what you do. And it's that initial idea of them realizing that really no one does care. I tackle that in class and I think that's what gets a lot of students past that, um, that barrier. And, and, and even today, we had a student that was soloing for the first time with cameras on, you know, it's, it's so it, he was not prepared, but he was not afraid. Over time, the young musicians discover within themselves the talent and the drive to move forward. Uh, relationships are the key to everything. So um, if you want to, um, like the people who are the most effective with these young musicians are the people who know how to um, establish really strong relationships with them and connect with them as people. I hope that they leave feeling a connection with each other. Um, and I hope that they, I hope that they feel a bond as an ensemble and know that what they've done is um, more important than whatever award we received or, you know, the success of the performance itself. And, and also their feeling of self-success. My hope is that the students um, come away from any from whatever we're doing, from school, from band, from whatever, my hope is that they come away um, knowing that they, um, they can do anything that they put their minds to. Middle schools are going so crazy that uh, we, have to, we have to try to accommodate all the kids who are coming here that want to also play jazz music. At the end of the feeder patterns are the high school jazz ensembles. It is here where the young musicians come to fruition but it's still not an easy journey. I think it's important to have those ensembles. They raise the bar and they um, are a model of what students and teachers and a school community working together can achieve. It's been difficult, definitely difficult to get to this, this level. And as they progress and as students graduate, then they can audition and sometimes make it into Jazz Band One. Having a passion for whatever music we're rehearsing, uh, I believe that excellence comes when you're willing to work hard enough to get the highest level of detail. I really just started when I um, started playing in junior jazz at Eckstein Middle School. Well, I went to Whitman High Sh <laughs> Whitman Middle School, there you go. It only really started when I got into high school because back in middle school, I'd definitely say I wasn't quite as invested in jazz. I try to I try to be demanding at the same time as I want them to know that I'm also understanding and I try to be flexible. So it's, it's kind of a, a, it's a balancing act. 
It's, it's tough. He puts a lot of pressure on us to be good, which in turn, I think, causes us to all work a lot harder. He, he pushes us and, um, yeah, he makes you work really hard, but it's, it's all for a good cause. And what you get out of it is definitely worth it in the end. Well, being in, in any musical ensemble is one of the best things that you can do to get prepared for whatever you might be going into. So when we start to put together that idea of we're gonna celebrate the success of the individual at the same time as it's all about the group, that's a pretty good lesson for being successful in life. So yes, music is incredibly important. It also helps prepare them um, for college and career, and it supports the development of those important 21st century skills as we've talked about so much, and that is critical and creative thinking, perseverance, growth mindset, collaboration, and also communication. And in particular within a jazz band, if we're focusing on that only, that collaboration part is incredibly important. The critical thinking part, all of the aspects of 21st century skills come into play there. In the end though, it's all about the music. To me, jazz is a language and an expression of, you know, a culture. The struggles through which um, this music uh, came from and the history, the rich history of the music that it's uh, contributed to by so many other um, cultures and so many other things. It's the true reflection of uh, what the melting pot is uh, all about. I, I think it's such an important part of American culture that I think every student should be aware of. It's completely different than any other type of music I've ever listened to. I really like how jazz gives a lot of room for incorporation of pers personal style into the music so that you can play what you feel instead of what some other person felt and put down on the page. It's an art form with with complete freedom of expression. Music to me, you know, it's, it's more than just uh, like a kind of a, like a side project, you know? It's kind of like, it's almost, you could say it's a way of life, you know? It's a method of expressing my feelings in a creative way without having to put down words. It's kind of like a home to me, it's an anchor. So if I'm ever gone, I go somewhere far away and I'm not coming back anytime soon, I can play an instrument and I'll feel at home.